Hey, what's going on people? Bear Fox here and welcome back to another brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys what are the best settings for Radeon GPU for both integrated and dedicated units. So make sure to watch this video till the end. I have also made similar videos for both Intel HD graphics as well as Nvidia GPU. So you can watch them on my channel as well or click the links in the description below to watch them straight away. Also, don't forget to leave your specs in the comments below for the best settings. And with all that said, let's drive straight into the video. Step number one is to go into your Windows update and check if your Windows is always up to date or not. If not, you always have to make sure that you install every latest updates to make sure that your system is working properly. Especially for Windows 11, updates are dropping every now and then and you have to make sure that you're always up to date. Alright, next step is go over to the AMD's official website and get the AMD software that is the Adrenaline Edition that will help you to connect to your hardware. Basically, this software will be allowing you to customize the settings of your GPU as well as install the latest drivers. So once you are on this website, you have to scroll all the way down until you find the download now button. Once you downloaded that, you have to select your graphics card as well as the series of your GPU. Once again, if you are unaware of the graphics card that you are using on your computer, you can simply click on the auto detect software. You can download it simply on your computer and that will automatically detect the driver and get it downloaded on your PC. Okay, once you're done with the installation of the software, you have to right click on any empty area, go to show more options and click on AMD software. Over here, go into the gaming section and basically go to global graphics, then switch to gaming profile. Just down beneath, you have the Radeon anti-lag, make sure to enable that and also enable the image sharpening to somewhere between 50 to 80. Down below, you will also find your vertical refresh, make sure to keep it off and then anti-aliasing, use multi-sampling. Then you will scroll down and turn off anisotropic filtering right beneath that keep your texture filtering quality to performance and surface format optimization enabled and tessellation mode should be amd optimized now go head over to your display settings and then make sure the display color enhancement is disabled and over here if you want you can set custom resolution click on custom color and set the following settings Saturation should be a little over 250 260 that will make it more vibrant and the brightness should be set a little over to zero that will make it more good. Then go into your video settings and make sure that the video profile is set to cinema classic. Then for the hotkeys, if you want, you can turn this on. Now in the preferences tab, you have to disable the in-game overlay, web browsing and advertisement as well as toast notification, always on top as well as animations and effect. This will make your GPU more efficient to work and perform much better. All right, then you have to make a restore point. And for that, simply search for create a restore point. And then in the system protection, scroll down until you find local disk C and make sure to click on create and name it AMD Radeon. If in case anything happens to your PC, you can always restore everything back to normal. Once it is done, simply click on close and close the system properties. Next step is download the AMD Radeon Optimization Pack. I'll be leaving a link to this pack in the description below. Once you download and open it up, you'll find in two folders. First one is registries and second one is cleanup. Click on the first folder and you will find in four files. These are basically the best registries to optimize your PC. To run these registries, you can right click, go to show more options options and click on merge simply double tap to run it both of those will work for the best performance possible i would recommend you guys not to skip any registry and run all of them in case you're wondering what these registries do you can simply right click go to show more options and click on edit to see what the things that are going to be changed in your computer. Once you are satisfied with the settings, you can proceed to apply all of these registries. Nextly, in the cleanup folder, you will find in the first file that is the clean temporary file start pad. To run this file, you have to simply right click and run this as administrator. Once you are here, it will gently ask you to press any key to delete all temporary files. Simply press any key and that will delete all of the unwanted and unnecessary files on your computer. 
Once it is done, you can simply close the AMD Radeon optimization pack. The next step is adjusting the performance of Windows. For that, you have to search for adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. And once the performance option pops right in front of you, you have to select the adjust for best performance. Click on show thumbnails instead of icons as well as smooth edges of screen fonts. Make sure to enable both of these options so your windows will not look much shitty. But this will basically de-animate your windows and save you a lot of performance. So that was it for this video guys. I hope these settings must have helped you out. If it did, make sure to do leave a like and smash that subscribe button down below. Also, if I have missed out on anything, make sure to do leave it in the comments below to help out the community. Also, don't forget to leave your specs as well to know the best information for your PC. Once again, we'll see you in the next video. Until then, stay tuned, keep watching Bear Fox, keep supporting and peace out.